lead instructor with Box 1971, where we're changing the culture of the fire service one fireman at a time. We're here at the headquarters of Box 1971 in Oxford, North Carolina, Firehouse 71, best on the East Coast. We're here to talk about a little bit refresher of base group operations. One of the things that uh, I was always asked when I was a student in the fire service, as a probie rather, what's the first thing you do before you step off the roof? The answer was always, sound the roof. That's wrong, ladies and gentlemen. There's a few things we need to be doing before we even access the roof, before we step out on it, before we even come to where we have to sound the roof. Before we do that, what we're going to have to do is look for a second means of egress. Let's think about that before we even sound the roof. How am I going to get off this roof when the uh, stuff is the fan? Will it be an adjoining building? Will it be an aerial ladder, ground ladder, fire escape, or tower ladder bucket, rope, etc.? How am I going to get off this roof? Remember, life comes before property. The next thing is basic roof size up. Before I step out on this roof, I need to know what kind of roof I'm getting out onto. Am I uh, getting out onto a flat roof or a peak roof? If it's a peak roof, what type of slope? What kind of pitch are we talking about here? If it is a peak roof, is it a gambrel? Is it shed? Hip? What kind of peak roof is it? What's the roof made out of? Is it a wooden roof? Is it a concrete roof? Is it a metal roof? What is supporting that roof? Are they um, wooden rafters? Wooden trusses? Open web steel bar joists, etc. These are the things you need to be thinking about before you even access that roof. Okay? Another thing before you step out on that roof, do a quick size up. Look all the way across the roof. Determine what size of roof we're dealing with here. Are we dealing with a small roof, a big roof? Are we dealing with uh, a particularly um, unsafe roof? In other words, is this a 100 year old building where the roof has uh, not been well maintained by its owner? Is it rotting? Are there any holes in the roof? Do you see anything on that roof that's going to get you, uh, going to cause you to fall, trip, fall to your death? Are there holes in the roof? Are there obstructions such as power lines, clothes lines, billboard signs? Are there solar panels? Are there uh, skylights? And speaking of skylights, let's talk about natural vent openings. Most likely, the reason for you accessing this roof is to perform vertical ventilation. Let's think about natural vent openings before we think about where we're going to cut. What are your natural vent openings available to you? Such as skylights, dumbwaiter shafts, elevator shafts, and staircase bulkheads. So we're looking at all these things. We're looking at obstructions, we're looking at the things that are going to hurt you first, and we're going to think about natural vent openings, and we're going to be thinking about just the overall health of that roof before you even step out onto it. And the final thing is, what's the fire condition like? Where are you, where you access the roof in relationship to that fire? So I want to say thanks for allowing me to speak to you today. And in closing, and as always, be happy, be safe, and have fun.